Hi guys, my name is Alice and welcome to another exciting video for Circa Media's Youth Circus Home Edition. Today we'll be looking at wire balances and scorpions. For these positions, it's important to make sure you warm up and stretch before you start. As well as all the warming up and stretching you can do on your own, there's a few important positions to remember. So for a wide balance, it's really important to make sure that inner thigh is really stretched and also your shoulders have to be nice and open. Okay, so to do a wide balance, you're going to start and you're going to lift one foot up in front of you. Nice pointy toe. Put one hand out to balance and then with the same hand as your leg, you're going to grab your heel, the inside of your foot. Okay, you're then going to point your foot out in front of you, pull it up and out to the side. Okay, just like that. And then bend it in and come back down. It's quite good to practice on both sides. So if you're not quite flexible enough to do it all like that, you can try putting a belt or something around your foot and holding onto it. And so you don't have to quite reach your foot then you can stretch it out the front and up and up the side. And then from there, if it's not quite enough, you can pull it in a little bit and a little bit more, a little bit more until you can hold your foot. Okay, just makes it a little bit easier if you haven't quite got there yet. So next up, we're gonna do a scorpion. Again, making sure we're nicely warmed up and stretched. Uh, it's very important for a scorpion if you've got your side stretched, so these are really good for that one. Really make your hand as long as you can and stretch all the way down the sides. And same on the other side. Backs are really important as well, so cobras and bridges, really good. And also straddles are good as well for your splits and stuff. The last one, which is a position you may not have come across before, is you're going to lie on the floor, on your face, and put your arms up wide like a T. And then you're going to lift one leg up, you're going to lift it up off the floor, and then you're going to try and bring it over towards your other hand. Okay? I'm just holding there. And then you can do that on the other side as well. Okay, and then we're ready to do the shape. Once you've finished all your stretching and you're ready to go, I'll show you how to do a scorpion. So, you're going to lift up one foot behind you, use one hand for balance, and the same hand as leg is going to grab that foot. Okay, and then you're going to lift your leg up as high as you can using your leg muscles. Then you're going to bring your elbow through that gap, up above your head, and then if you can, take your wrist and start straightening up, and then come down. If you're really flexible, you can grab your ankle or even your knee with your second hand when you're coming up. Okay, so like the wire balance, you can use a belt or a piece of elastic or something to help you get there. You're not quite there yet. So I recommend holding onto a wall for this start just to get your foot into that loop. So get your foot into the loop, lift that knee up. Same, same hand as leg still. You're gonna lift your knee up, try and turn your elbow up to the sky. And then from there, you can just take the hand off the wall if you've got enough balance, reach behind your head and grab that belt. Flex your toes if you need to, but from there just keep stretching and leaning and pulling that foot towards your head. And then, let it go. Elbow comes back down, take the foot back out of the belt. And there you have it. A scorpion and a white balance. Thanks for watching. See you again soon. Do try this at home.